This video presents the sine, cosine, and tangent functions of special angles, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. Let us first define sine, cosine, and tangent functions. Consider this unit circle with data drawn in a standard position. Standard, standard position because the initial side coincides with the positive side of the x-axis. Theta moves in a counterclockwise direction. The terminal side of theta intersects the unit circle at point P, whose coordinates are x, y. So from here, we can define sine theta. That sine theta is the ordinate of the point of intersection between the terminal side of theta and the, exa and the unit circle, I should say. In symbol, sine theta is equal to y. Cosine theta is the abscissa of the point of intersection between the terminal side and the unit circle. In symbol, Cosine theta is equal to x. In other words, the coordinates x, y could also be written as cosine theta, sine theta. Tangent theta is the ratio of sine and cosine. In symbol, tangent theta is equal to sine theta divided by cosine theta. Let's have an example. Let us evaluate evaluate sine 30 degrees, cosine 30 degrees, and tangent 30 degrees. We first illustrate the angle. This is the 30 degree angle in the standard position. Its terminal side intersects the unit circle at this point. Let me name this P sub 1. Let us locate the coordinates of point P sub 1. First, we draw a perpendicular segment from the point of intersection to the x-axis. This means there is a 90 degree here because of the word perpendicular. This angle measures 60. This must be 60 because the sum of the three angles in every triangle is 180 degrees. So we are able to form a special triangle 30, 60, and 90 degree triangle. The sides of the triangle of this 30, 60, 90 degree triangle has the following relationships. The sides that form the 90 degree angle are the legs of the triangle. The shorter leg is opposite the 30 degree angle measures one half of the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. Well, the side opposite the 60 degree angle or the longer leg is equal to the shorter leg times square root of three. Going back to our triangle, the length of the hypotenuse here is one. One because this segment is also the radius of the unit circle. So if this is 1, this side here is the shorter leg of the, of the right triangle. So this must be 1 half of 1, which is 1 half. While this side, the longer leg, is 1 half times square root of 3, which is equal to square root of 3 halves. Therefore, the coordinates of this point are 
square root of 3 halves and 1 half. So we can now give the value of sine 30 degrees. That sine 30 degrees, sine is the ordinate of the point of intersection. So therefore, that is 1 half. Cosine 30 degrees is the abscissa of the point of intersection. So that is square root of 3 over 2. And tangent theta or tangent 30 degrees is the ratio of sine, which is 1 half, and cosine square root of 3 over 2. So applying the cross product, we have 2 all over 2 is square root of 3. Then simplifying the expression, it will be square root of 3 over 3, which is equal to tangent 30 degrees. Let's have another example. Suppose we want to evaluate Let us evaluate sine 30, uh, 60. 60 degrees, cosine 60 degrees, and tangent 60 degrees. We illustrate 60 degree angle in standard position. This one. Its terminal side intersects the unit circle at this point. Let's call this P sub 2. Let us locate again the coordinates of P sub 2. That is, we draw perpendicular segment to the x-axis. Then we have here a right triangle, right angle. So the third angle here must be 30 degrees, considering the sum of the three angles in every triangle which is equal to 180 degrees. The length of the hypotenuse here is 1, which is also the radius of the unit circle. So this shorter leg must be 1 half. And the longer leg must be square root of 3 halves. Therefore, the coordinates of P sub 2 will be 1 half, the abscissa, and the ordinate is square root of 3 all over 2. Thus, sine, 30 degree, sine 60 degrees is now equal to the ordinate square root of 3 over 2. Cosine 60 degrees is the abscissa, which is 1 half. And tangent 60 degrees is the ratio of square root of 3 over 2 and 1 half. So, apply again the cross product. It will be 2 square root of 3 all over 2. And simplifying, it will be equal to square root of 3, which is the value of tangent 60 degrees okay let's now proceed to the value of sine 45 degrees cosine 45 degrees and tangent 45 degrees so let us evaluate sine 45 degrees Sorry. Sine 45 degrees, cosine 45 degrees, and tangent 45 degrees. Same process. Illustrate angle in a standard position. So it's here. The point of intersection will be this one. It's the point of intersection between the terminal side of the angle and the unit circle. Let us name this 
p sub 3. Let us find the coordinates of p sub 3. You draw a perpendicular segment to the x-axis. So it's 90 again. So this must be fortified so that the sum of the three angles is 180 degrees. And the length of the hypotenuse here is of course 1 because again it's the radius of a unit circle. The triangle form here is also a special triangle which is 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. In this triangle, the two legs are equal. These two legs here are equal. And the length of the hypotenuse is the product of the length of one leg times the square root of two. So, in this triangle, since the hypotenuse is known, which is 1, how do we find the measure of the length? Using the concept of Pythagorean theorem, which says that the square of the hypotenuse 1 is equal to the sum of the squares of the two legs. So may I represent this first as S, and this also S, because these two are equal. So it will be S squared plus S squared. We add this 2, so 2S two squared equals 1. Divide by 2, so S squared is equal to 1 half. And solving for S, S is equal to square root of 2 all over 2. So this side here measures square root of 2 halves. The same with this because this, they are equal. So square root of 2 halves. So which means that P sub 3 has coordinates square root of 2 over 2 and square root of 2 over 2. Therefore, sine 45 degrees is equal to the ordinate, square root of 2 halves, while cosine 45 degrees is also the square root of 2 halves. And tangent 45 degrees is the ratio of these two, square root of 2 over 2 divided by square root of 2 over 2. And a number divided by itself is always 1. And that is the value of tangent 45 degrees.